you need to have lost more than 36 pounds. Gentlemen, your current weight is. Victory dance already. Oh, Lord. I've never in my life lost that much weight in one week. I don't even know if I've done it in a month. It just shows that you can do anything here. Thank you. 22 pounds? I'm, I am shocked. Is that even humanly possible? It is, because I did it. You know what I'm saying? OK, red team, you lost 40 pounds as a team for a total percentage of weight loss of 4.93%. Some choices are good, some choices are bad. And the choice I made this week was just to do whatever I could to try to keep us here. And what's wrong with playing the game to possibly stay here longer? Because everyone is fighting for that chance. Tracy, now it's time to ask you who's going to be representing the purple team on the scale tonight. I will. You know, all week, Coach Mo and I went back and forth as to who's going to get up on the scale, me or him. He told me, Tracy, you have to go on the scale. You can take it for our team. She wanted to put me on. I said, no. I knew that I might not have the weight loss, but Tracy might. Tracy, you need to have lost more than two pounds to keep the purple team safe. That's all. That's all. Everyone was hoping and praying that she didn't lose enough weight. Everything she's done, we're just sick of it. Tracy, your previous weight was 228 pounds. Coach Mo, your previous weight was 327 pounds. Your current weight is. Tracy, you killed it. You lost 11 pounds this week. I have no idea how. It's hard not to notice there's no applause. No, oh, of course not. When you're talking about the show, it's to inspire people. At home, somebody's watching, well, wait a minute, didn't that child just lose? 11 pounds? Isn't that a good thing? It's about time for Orange to step up and say, you know what? We did what people didn't think we could do, and that's make the 150 or more. As I'm walking up to the CL, there's just a rock in my stomach, because if I had 17 last week, does that mean I'm going to be at a 5 this week? Shay, your previous weight was 459 pounds. Daniel, your previous weight was 300 pounds. Your current weight is. Tracy, your current weight is. Congratulations, you lost seven pounds. It's wonderful. It is just like, yes! All the odds are just like stacking up. And I'm still losing weight, and I'm losing fat, and I'm not losing muscle, and I'm getting stronger, and it's great. So perfect. Thanks. Seven. A full freaking seven. I was so excited. Ah, lucky seven. Ding, 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 ding. I mean, I thought I had the slot machine. <laughs> it was so great. And I was thinking, and none of you are going to take this away from me. Don't you even look at me with daggers. How dare you be judgmental? 
<laughs> I put everything into the workhouse this week. And when I didn't think I had enough, I thought to myself, look, you gave up something that was so important to you, make it worth that choice. Make, make sure you lose enough this week so that when your wife and daughter are watching this at home, they're saying, wow, Dad, wow, hon, you did a good job. Rudy, your current weight is. In six weeks, you have lost 87 pounds. You are 13 pounds away from losing 100. If you do lose 100 pounds next week, you will have lost it faster than anyone in Biggest Loser history. You ready to make history, Rudy? Yes, ma'am. Hope you're on campus next week. I look forward to seeing it. Thank Thanks. You. One of you is about to walk away the next Biggest Loser and win a quarter of a million dollars. You both are incredible fathers. You have both changed your lives. But it does come down to this moment. Danny, in order to take the lead from Rudy, in order to win a quarter of a million dollars and be the next biggest loser, you need to have lost more than 227 pounds. When you started this competition, you weighed 430 pounds. You're looking for more than 227, Danny. Your current weight is. Daniel, your previous weight was 276 pounds. Daniel, your current weight is. Daniel is the last person I would ever expect to go home and gain a pound. I'm shocked. Unbelievable. I got in the gym and I ate what I was supposed to eat. I don't know. What were the difficulties you faced when you went home? I think for me, it was just emotional. It was just for me relearning, you know, what was at home and how much support and love I actually had there. And just realizing all that again, that was tough for me. I mean, I just want you guys to know, I don't think, don't think I went home and slacked off. No, I, no. I just, because that's not. Any of us, that could happen to any of us. Absolutely. Thanks. I don't get it. I don't get why I gained a pound, and it sucks, and it's embarrassing. And I feel like gaining one pound just puts a target on my back to say, oh, Daniel deserves to go home this week. That sucks. Good job, Daniel. It's all right. Shay, you started out. He's the biggest competitor we have ever had, 476 pounds. So far, you have lost 83 pounds, which means you are 17 away from losing 100. Yes. Kristen set the record last season for losing 100 pounds, the fastest of any female. She lost it in 12 weeks. Congratulations, Kristen. Thank you. An very amazing much. accomplishment. You have lost 105 pounds. This is week nine. Mm hmm. <laughs> and you are 17 pounds away. You looking forward to breaking that record? Uh, yes. But I mean, we're in week nine, and you don't see those kinds of numbers anymore. And I'm going to ask for a 12. I think that will, it will keep me in the running for the yellow line. It will keep me in the running to have a chance to fight. I'm going to ask for well, let's see what you get. All right. Your current weight is. I came 
gone to this campus the first day thinking, if I don't do this, I'm gonna die. And it was hard every step. But then you see the results. And you say, screw it, let's go again. And I can do it. And you're doing it. Congratulations, Shay. Thanks, Sally. There were two things I wanted to do coming here. Change my life and, and beat the record for the quickest woman to 100 pounds. I've done both. I've done both. Next, we are going to weigh in lips. It has been the toughest week since we've been on the ranch with the stress and the pressure. And I have got to pull a big number this week or my butt's going home. Liz, when you first came to campus, you weighed 276 pounds. Your previous weight was 218 pounds. You need to have lost more than nine pounds in order to stay safe from elimination tonight. Liz, your current weight is. Holy moly! 12 pounds, girl! Oh, my God! Woo! Yes. <laughs> Congratulations, Liz. Thank you. 12 pounds. That is the most weight I have lost at any given week since I've been on the ranch. So don't count this grandma out. <laughs> Liz, you lost 12 pounds this week for a total percentage of weight loss of 5.5%. <laughs> You are now leading the way in, Liz. You are definitely safe from elimination this week, Liz. You are here for one more week. Shay, I'm sorry to tell you that you are definitely below the yellow line tonight and in danger of elimination. 0.02% put Alan above me with his one pound advantage. I break a record. A hundred pounds in nine weeks. <laughs> I'm, I'm below the yellow line. <laughs> it seems unreal. If you lost 13 pounds this week, that means you will have lost 100 pounds in seven weeks. You would be beating Dane's record just last season. My first goal from day one being here was to, to beat the record of quickest to 100 pounds. Last season, Dane broke 100 pounds in eight weeks. Dane, you have lost 100 pounds in eight weeks. I want to beat that. I'd really like to beat that. Rudy, are you ready to find out if you beat Dane's record? Yeah, please. Well, I bet Dane is too. Why don't we ask him? <laughs> Guys. In walks Dane, and I'm thinking, great, how bad is this going to be if I don't get it and he's here? Hey. Dane, what's it feel like to be back? Feels like I never left. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when we were here at the ranch, you know, every week we had the weigh-in, and then that was the reason why we had to train. And what we've been doing lately is finding other reasons, you know, triathlons and other things like that. So I actually have a triathlon in the morning in San Francisco that I'm, I'm getting ready for. Just you or some other old faces? A total of 12 former contestants of the, of the show. It's the best feeling in the world to know that I had a part in that. I had a part in these 12 people that were morbidly obese. Now, all of a sudden, they're doing a triathlon. Have you ever done a triathlon? I haven't. He's going to do a triathlon tomorrow with 12 other contestants from this show. That is motivation in itself. So let's be clear, Rudy. In order to beat Dane's record, lose 100 pounds in seven weeks. You need to have lost 13 pounds tonight. Rudy, your previous weight was 355 pounds. Your current weight is. Congratulations, man. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much. Hey, at least you're not going home this week. That's true. <laughs> You did it! You have set a Biggest Loser record. You've lost 101 pounds in seven weeks. 
That feels great. Thanks to my trainers, thanks to Bob, thanks to my team, and hey, thanks to Dane for inspiring me to do it. That is an incredible feeling, knowing that I had nine friends out there who watched me do this, two trainers who helped me do this, and a guy whose record I just beat applauding me for what I just did. And that's something I'm going to appreciate and enjoy for the rest of my life.